everybody. Welcome back to Tea Time with Aloha and Coco, guys. I'm Vicky, if you're new around here. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to be part of the Tea Time family. Tea Time with Aloha and Coco is a channel dedicated to Disney, DIYs, family, and lifestyle vlogs. On today's episode of Tea Time with Aloha and Coco, I'm going to do a little bit of a haul. I want to share items that I purchased at uh, Disney Character Warehouse, uh, items I purchased at places like the actual parks, Universal Islands, um, Disney. I also purchased a whole bunch of items from places like Primark. I did some at like H&M, Forever 21. I don't know. It's a big haul and um, I think it's all Disney related. So let's jump into it. So we are going to start off with the items I purchased at Islands of Adventure. Again, I didn't purchase too much from the parks, but I wanted to showcase what I got for April 2023. So let's get into it. So the first item I purchased was actually $18, but of course, if you have the annual pass, you get a discount and it's these super cute little um, Snap Squad Jurassic Park dinosaurs. I saw a whole bunch of cast members wearing this around their lanyards. They hang them from their book bags. The mouth basically opens up and then it shuts tight. So you can hang it from like your collar, um, your lanyard, your backpack. I thought they were so cute. They have a whole bunch of different designs. It's not just this one. They had a whole bunch of colors, things like that. But I had to pick this little guy up. I thought he was the cutest little thing. And I want to hang it maybe from like a set of ears or you know like when you wear Mickey ears to Universal and Islands and people don't like it. Well, what if I have him biting off the ear? Up next, I went to Honey Dukes and I picked up this little cooler lunchbox. Now, I think this was $15 with a purchase of a certain amount of money or not, or, or more. Um, either way, I picked it up at the actual Honey Dukes in Islands of Adventure. It is a lunchbox. It is insulated, so you could put your food in there, but I use it as a purse. Um, I mean, I, unless I go to Islands and I want to take some food or something, then I could probably use it for that. But otherwise, I just think it's a really cool bag. I like to showcase it. I love to wear it. I've already worn it. It is super cute and you can find it again at Honey Dukes at Islands of Adventure. Now we're going to be jumping into Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, that kind of thing. Um, the actual parks. So the first thing I picked up at Epcot was this incredible little Aristocats t-shirt. It's the three little cats um, from the Aristocats. I love this shirt because it is like vintage looking. You know, I love the whole vintage style. So it's like vintage looking. It looks like the little cats that you would find on like dinnerware, like the little plates like that your grandmother would have. Like I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This shirt was about $30. Um, I You could find it at the France Pavilion. You can find it in the store there, but you can also find it at shopdisney.com. So if it's a shirt that you like, you can pick it up online. You don't have to go to the France Pavilion. Just if you have an annual pass and you go to the France Pavilion, you know you get a discount. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay full price online. But I just thought it was the most amazing thing. I can't wait to wear this. I'm absolutely obsessed. It's just a cream colored shirt. Nothing else in the back. Up next, I ended up going to Hollywood Studios because I was really wanting to pick this little guy up. This is Babu Frick, and it's like a little animatronic. It moves its head. Um, not it moves its head, it moves its mouth. Like it talks, it makes noises. I haven't taken it out of the box because like I'm somebody who buys things and doesn't like to use them. I like to showcase them, place them on like my little stands, as you can see back here. Um, but I'm obsessed with it. This was actually $59.99, and with an annual pass, you get a, a percentage off. But you can find this little guy at Hollywood Studios in the little store literally right next to droid depot so if you've been to droid depot and you know that there's like a little store that connects to it this is where you can find this guy because he's a droid smith i love him i have to open him up and show you guys at some point but i can't right now because i can't get over how cute he is so again 59.99 my little droid smith babu frick Okay, so I have two items that I'm gonna show you. They're not from the same store and they're not from like where the rest of the things that I'm gonna show you are from. So I'm just gonna kind of showcase them to you quickly. So I went to H&M and for $17.99, I found this super cute hunter green 
Mickey tennis shirt. Hold on. See if you could see it. Game, set, match. And it says tennis in the top. So if you like tennis, this is perfect. Um, I just love that it looks like a vintage Mickey and I'm gonna wear it with a tennis skirt. So like perfect, right? Some sneakers. But I just thought it was the cutest thing. It's, it is oversized. Um, I got the large because I really want it to be really, really long. And maybe you could just see the tip of the, um, what do you call it? The tennis skirt. Um, but I'm obsessed with it. Again, $17.99. And this one was from H&M. You can also find it online. But I went to the store um, and I saw it there. Up next, I went to Forever 21 and I picked up this super cute little crop top, um, $17.99. And it is this little dog. I also bought it for my girls. On the girls, I got them an extra small and it's like the perfect fit. It looks like a like a normal size top. For me, however, I plan on wearing a white, like long sleeve, maybe like like the big arms, like something like this, but with a collar like the like the peter pan collar perhaps i don't know and then wear this over it um it reminds me of um lady from lady and the tramp so i felt like it was more like a realistic approach or realistic look to lady and the tramp and i also have a bag that can go with this so i'm really really excited to like rock it um but again it's like a crop top so i do plan on wearing maybe like maybe like this dress if it were like with a collar and then put this over so that the skirt is attached you get what i'm saying but $17.99, Forever 21. Up next, we visited the Disney Character Warehouse. And if you guys haven't seen that vlog already, you have to. I'll link it down below so you guys can see the amount of items you can get at like a, so, I can't even say a fraction of the cost because it's so much cheaper than just a fraction, like dirt cheap. I'll start with these items. These are the Stony Clover patches. They have a whole bunch of Disney characters. Um, I picked these up. These are originally $20 each. I got Chip and Mrs. Potts. Um, like I said, $20 originally, but I got them for $12 each. This is still a little pricey. I wish it was a little bit cheaper, but I really like them because they're adhesive, so I can stick them to something that I already have at home. You go to Target and they have the most beautiful little makeup bags or the beautiful, the, the most beautiful little um, like toiletry bags, and you could stick this on, and you don't have to buy one of those bags. Up next, I picked up these really cute tanks for the girls. They remind me of like the 80s, but it's a black and white striped tank and it says navigate the future. And then in the back, it says in Tomorrowland. These were originally $24.99 and I got it for $8. $7.99 is how much they were at the Disney Character Warehouse. I love this because it gives me summer vibes with like the pastel colors. Um, it also gives me like figment vibes. I feel like I'm going to end up getting them the little figment shoulder pal, attaching it here and doing the tennis skirt. I love tennis skirts. Um, so I'll probably end up doing that. I think that this is just such a classy and elegant look. I love it. $7.99 again, um, Disney Character Warehouse. Up next, I remember these came out in the actual Disney parks. People went crazy. They sold out a couple of times. If I'm not mistaken, I'm almost 100% certain that these sold out like a whole bunch of times. And it's the Disney map bucket hat. I also picked this up. The Disney character warehouse. Obviously, all of this is from the Disney character warehouse that I'm showing you now. I got it for $14.99. The original price was $34.99. I absolutely adore it. I mean, it's not going to work right now because I have a bun on, but... It sits really pretty on the head and then, oh my gosh, you can reverse the hat and then it has like the green on the top and then the green brim. I like when the whole map shows. I love it. Absolutely love it.
Okay, so this is my favorite purchase from the, I put the bucket hat on. I think I tried the bucket hat on before I started the video and I think it messed up my hair and then putting it on now, it doubled it up. Anyways, so this is the piece that I bought at the character Disney Character Warehouse that I was I'm madly in love with. I don't even want to use it. This is a Dooney and Burke and it is a crossbody, but it is the Rescuers. I love the Rescuers. The Rescuers are up there with some of my favorite Disney characters. Um, this piece was originally $228 and I spent about $60, maybe 70 on it. It is a crossbody. They had a ton of totes. I'm going to go ahead and link that video below for the Disney character warehouse. I'm telling you, you guys have to check that place out. It has the most amazing totes, a whole bunch of Dooney and Burke. Um, they have the, um, I forgot the other designer. They, well, they have a ton of lounge fly and they have the, um, the Nicole something company. Um, but she makes purses too, like the little flounder and all. Well, they had purses of hers too. One thing I will tell you, they were just so incredibly nice at the Disney Character Warehouse. Um, they made me feel so, um, just so incredibly, I don't know, magical inside. One of the things that they did when I showed interest in this bag, because it was in the window display, one of the um, cast members went backstage and they brought out a whole bunch of these. And they said, take your time, look at them because they're all cut differently. So um, the, the canvas that is used to make these, it's like a print and then they cut it and they make different bags. So the actual print of the bag had different looks. Although it's the same fabric, like for example, the other one, this one right here of Bianca and Bernard was right here and there was less Bianca on it. Um, so just you know, tell them, you know, are, are there different cuts? Like the bags would have different cuts, like the fabric looking different um, and they'll showcase other options to you. So I ended up going with this. It does have the chain inside. I'm not gonna even open it because it's full of paper, but it's the most amazing bag and I'm obsessed with it. Now I'm moving on to Tokyo Disneyland. I have a company that I reach out to all the time because when Disneyland Tokyo comes out with really cool merch, I reach out to them and I'm like, listen, I love this piece. Can you get your hands on it for me? And she's fantastic. Uh, Pixie Lux, she does the personal shopping for me. She's amazing. So one of the pieces that I got, I have some more pieces coming in and I have a ton of pieces of hers um, in my closet, but this is the April 20, 2023 item I picked up and it's this super cute little treasure chest. It's a tiny little micro bag. You can use it for like a coin purse or something in your purse, but this is what I would use. I love it. This one was, um, I guess like, like 20 something dollars. So this one, um, it's like covered in glitter and then it has Chip and Dale hanging from little stones and I'm obsessed. Up next, we are going to jump to Primark. In Primark, I think I left with more clothes and no, I think it was all clothes if I'm not mistaken. But we're gonna start with these super cool pens. They had every color and they were only $2.50. If you're having a Harry Potter party, these are great gifts for your guests. So they had them in all their little quills, quill pens. They had them in all the houses. They had them in Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. But I picked up Gryffindor for both of my daughters because they're both Gryffindors. Um, $2.50. There, and then it says like Gryffindor towards the bottom. These are just so perfect and for $2.50, they can't be beat. They had a ton of pens, so much stuff. Then the next item I picked up was $8 and it was these Mickey shorts for the girls. I picked these up. Um, Man, now that I'm looking at them, maybe the fabric was cut different on these two. Well, anyways, she has, uh, they have Daisy, Donald, Pluto, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie on them. Um, I like these because I could do a really pretty top. I love them. And they're really, really, they're like really comfy, stretchy, um, what the girls need to be in the park. Um, I love these. Eight bucks. Can't be beat. I love these. Probably my favorite piece of Disney clothing. One of my favorite Disney pieces of clothing that I like the most from my daughter's closet. So $8. 
Uh, next, I picked up this Chip and Dale oversized tee. I like oversized tees a lot. Sometimes I'll go to the park. By the way, this was $12. I'll show you guys everything. I love oversized tees and I always have this vision in my head that I'm going to go to the park and I'm going to wear the coolest little skirt with this crossbody and a visor and the glasses and the cool sneakers. And then I always end up just putting on the oversized t-shirt and I leave the skirt at the house and then I just wear leggings every single time. It's crazy. I prepare the craziest outfits for myself for Disney and then I change my mind like two minutes before we go to the park. But again, this is $12 Chippendale. I just love it. Up next, I picked up this really pretty like evergreen um, loungewear dress. I'm assuming this is supposed to be for like pajamas. I'm not gonna wear it as pajamas. I'm going to wear it to the park. It's about $12, I think it was, 12 or $14. The price is not on the tag for some reason, but I know it was around $12. And it's just really soft. It's really soft, it's very breathable, and for the parks you need something like this. And I love that Simba, it's like a simple print. Simba, right in the center. If I ever decide to go back to Animal Kingdom, I'll probably wear this. Um, I just really like it. Maybe if I do like the Lion King on Broadway, I'll wear this, but it's just so cute. I love it with some sneakers and my little Simba popcorn bucket and I'm good. Another item I picked up for $15 was this Bambi. I said vintimized, vintage, vintage, vintage mized. They made them vintage looking. They made it like, you know, like that old style. Well, it's just um, Thumper with all the flowers, it says Walt Disney World's Bambi, and it's for the 100th anniversary. Um, again, this is, I believe, loungewear, like pajamas, but it's like the perfect, perfect material to walk the parks in. Uh, I'm not wearing it as loungewear. I'm wearing it to the parks. I'll do like a really pretty floral headband. Um, I'll do some sneakers. You know, I don't know. I think this is just perfect. I may have to take it in a little bit at the bottom because it is a little bit lengthy, but it's really good, like stretchy, sturdy, thick material that you can walk in the parks in. And you know, it's not gonna be something that, I don't know, it's not gonna be uncomfortable, like wearing pants, you know? last item but I bought a lot of Chip and Dale and I don't understand why here's a thing everybody always asks me what's your favorite Disney character or characters I have a handful of them like I really, really like Nemo is my favorite Remy um I love the rescuers um I like Dumbo I like Pooh um and apparently I like Chip and Dale because I got a whole bunch of Chip and Dale including this sweater I'm about to show you this was eight eighteen dollars um it says Chip and Dale on the back. And then in the front, it says, in trouble again, Chipmunk Chaos. Established in 1943. I don't know why about, I, I went all in on Chip and Dale. I don't know why. I think they're cute, but I, I don't understand why. I got a lot of Chip and Dale stuff. A lot of Chip and Dale stuff. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on my little haul adventure. Um, there are definitely some items here that I think that are just basic necessities, especially when you go to the park. I'm telling you, there's so much at Primark as far as like Disney attire, like that little Lion King shirt, they have a whole bunch of characters. So if you like to go to the parks and listen, if you're usually somebody who goes in like leggings or denim shorts, try, try, try to go in like airy dresses and do like little biker shorts life altering 
So yeah, I'm really, really happy I got to share this stuff with you guys. I do wanna do like a monthly kind of haul. I go to Disney a lot and sometimes I'll purchase one or two little items here and there, but they're all magical. I'd love to continue to do this with you. Maybe I'll do like a May 2023 wrap up, like a little haul also. But those were my April 2023 finds. Anyways, oh, I wanted to show you something. So my husband got this for me a little while ago, but he reminds me of Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. And no, he is not taxidermy. I don't collect taxidermy. People think I collect taxidermy because I have a whole bunch of little soft sculptures. They're soft sculptures. They're made out of needle felt, needle felted materials. They're made out of like polymer clay. They're made out of faux fur, little glass eyeballs. God, no, I don't collect anything that's not soft, soft sculpture. So this is my little guy. Isn't he the cutest thing? Oh my gosh, I love him. So yes. Don't forget to click like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at T10 with Aloha and Coco. And I'll see you guys. Oh my God. I'll see you guys in our next video. Thank you. Goodbye. Until next time.